so that's it 2018's gone and 2019 is here I've taken the tinsel off my bike yes I had tinsel on my bike for uh, a few days over Christmas oh it's a pheasant I think I can't look because <laughs> I need to be riding um, yeah I had tinsel on my bike for like a few days and it was so fun I loved it and I was so sad when I had to take it off yesterday because for me it's um, the second day of the new year because I actually had yesterday off wasn't working which was pretty cool um, so yeah I ended up having a few drinks with spicy and that was quite nice we just watched a few films had a few drinks chilled out saw the new year together which was really nice it was nice just to chill out I didn't really you know go partying or anything like that um, and then the day after just I actually I got a lot of things done a lot of things sorted out that I needed to sort out um, cleaned and washed and polished my bike I was like oh I'm just gonna give it a quick clean an hour or something later <laughs> spicy's like i thought you were only giving it a quick clean i was like yeah well that didn't happen <laughs> i ended up <laughs> giving it a proper clean and polished it and everything so my bike is like super clean and it meant i had to take the tinsel off as well so it's not a christmas bike anymore and uh i didn't really get a chance to film in between having it on and taking it off and I didn't really get a chance to take any better pictures, but I at least got one, so that's on Instagram. And also, thanks to Spicy, and f my own fault for not uh, cleaning properly, he drew the outline of a penis on the inside of my screen on my bike. And um, I did spray it with water, I thought that'll clear it off. It didn't, it didn't. I still have the outline of a penis on my screen of my bike. <laughs> You can't really see it um, that well, but when you look at it in the right way, you can see it and I'm like, great. So I cleaned and polished my bike, but I also have the outline of a, you know, penis there. So great. Thanks, Spicy. <laughs> but yeah, New Year, New Year. What? Uh, what? Most people normally go on about their New Year's resolutions, but personally, I just, I don't, I've never really liked New Year's resolutions because I just find them a bit fake. Because you always are like, yeah, I'm going to do this for the new year. But you don't really set it as a proper goal. And you don't really stick by it. I've got hair in my mouth or something. No. You don't really stick by it. And then you don't achieve it. And then you feel horrible because you've never done it. Because people always set themselves really unrealistic goals. And this year, what I decided to do throughout the whole year, I've been learning a lot about myself, about my anxiety, about how to deal with it going round and round in circles, learning from it. And I'm getting better every now and then. Is that a buzzard? Hello? I think so. Spicy will tell me what it is, he knows. <laughs> it's giant, it was a big, big bird. It was brown. It looked like it was kind of had a spotty belly, kind of, I don't know. I'm sure it was a buzzard. I'm sure that's what they're called. I think the kestrels are too small. Anyway, going back to what I was saying, um, yeah, what I've decided to do this year is make myself a little diary thing and try and set myself like mini goals throughout each month. So you know when people set up those like bullet journal things and there was a huge trend about it like, oh yeah, I wanted, people were doing it just because of the trend and they, they just wanted to be one of them people that's like, oh look, I have my, here's my bullet journal, how creative can I be? And the, the only bad thing with that is you spend so much time making it pretty and and making it look nice you're not really spending any time doing the thing that you want to do so what i ended up doing i have a bikey behind me um was i ended up creating one myself but not for the trend just because i thought well actually with anxiety you have anxiety because you're always worried about everything and anything and the fear of, fear of the unknown is like everything is unknown and everything is then fearful so it's not good so I thought, well, since I'm so worried about what I'm doing and I always feel so lost, why don't I just write down what I'm going to do, write down things that I would like to do, set a realistic goal, something that's easily achievable, so when I achieve it, I feel good and don't feel bad. And also, then I can just quickly look in that book and be like, what am I doing today? Open up the book and think, ah, I've got this and that to do this week, or I'm working this, this and that this time. And maybe I won't feel so lost so I'm gonna give it a go and see how it goes I'm not committing myself to doing it for the whole year I'm just saying try it see what happens if it works brilliant because maybe if I have a little bit more 
um, control and organise myself a little bit better, maybe it will help me with my anxiety. I don't know, but I thought I'd give it a go. So I'll let you guys know how that ends up. But yeah, um, I hope you guys are having a good new year so far. 2018 has gone now. So if you've got anything you didn't achieve, you've got this year to do it. If there's any new things you want to do, give them a go this year. But that's it from for me for today. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.